Good morning, everybody. I think it's day 125. And yes, it's raining. Sprinkling. Not really raining that bad. But it's supposed to. And then Sunday is supposed to be like, like a washout. So we'll see what happens. I think today, realistically, I'm probably going to end up at Weary Feet Hostel. Uh, but we'll see. I have no idea yet. Time will tell. If I'm super, super wet, I'm definitely going to Weary Feet. I'm going to get past this little rotten scramble here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Angel's Rest was a nice little... Nice little break to stay three nights at. I never did get my Vortex patch again. Two years in a row. <sighs> Whatever. It's just a patch. <laughs> so huge shout out to Pringles for setting that all up at Angel's Rest. So it was nice and easy. And uh, yeah, it's my turn to walk in the rain today, everybody. I don't think it's going to be that bad. And look, I got my new umbrella. No holes in it. They did change the handle, which it's a nice little grip on the handle. Thank you, Jan Harvey, again. I'm going to put it to use. <laughs> I'll probably overuse it. So yeah, we're just walking in the rain today, everybody. And hopefully it stays a lot of light rain like this. I can stay dry like this. When it's heavy rain and blowing, that's when you get wet. But whatever, it's just water. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back. It's gonna be hard to point because I got my umbrella with the cool stuff and the views. Boop. <laughs> like I do, baby. Uh. So, yeah, let's go enjoy a peaceful walk in the rain, everybody. It's going to be beautiful, even in the rain. That's where we came from, everybody. And I just had my head down, moving. It's finally lightened up a little bit. I still got my umbrella out because it's, it's still raining, but that was a slow, steady rain there for a little bit. And I just like taking pictures and I didn't really do any video, but whatever. It's pretty much just been like this, everybody. And I tell you what, it's peaceful out here. I haven't seen a soul, nobody out here today. And all the southbounders behind me at the hostel, I'm pretty sure they're zero in today and zero in tomorrow. So maybe, I'm not sure. Ooh, this is cool. Some water.
bridge day. <laughs> I went over quite a few bridges already. This is a cool one. This is a bigger style one. Look at that, baby. She's slippery too. This is pretty cool. These pine trees are tall. They are super tall. Something about when it rains, it's like, I've said it before, I'm pretty sure that, man, the greens really pop out. The plants love the rain. And this nice light rain, like, I'm not even wet. I mean, my feet are wet, but that's just because back there a little ways, the trail wasn't very well maintained, I guess. I mean, it doesn't matter. But the overgrowth is just like, soaks your feet when it's wet. They're going to be wet anyways. I mean, I keep walking through slight little puddles and they're just going to get bigger. <laughs> it's just part of it. But it's peaceful out here. This trail is really cool right here. These trees are massive. And it's supposed to just be like a light rain all day today, so I'm making pretty good time. I might just go all the way to Bland, I don't know. If I go past Weary Feet Hostel, there's Lickskill Hostel. I've never stayed there. I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. But right now, this is nice hiking weather. I'm not complaining one bit. But if I could get bigger miles today, because tomorrow, I guess the bottom's going to drop out and it's just going to rain like crazy. So it'd be cool to like do a bigger day today than get into like somewhere and wait out the rain tomorrow. We'll see. I'll check the radar for myself later and make a decision. But right now, this is nice and pleasant. It's nice and cool. Yeah. For raining, this is like the perfect kind of rain to walk in. Nice and mellow. Awesome. What's happening, everybody? So, uh, it's like still just a light rain. It's not even like enough. To, I could probably put my umbrella away, but I'd rather just stay dry instead of risking it. <laughs> Ain't no sense of pushing it. I've been jamming out to music today too. I usually do not like to do that on trail, but the raindrops on my umbrella was just like, I heard enough of it. So I'm like, let me put some music in and just keep a good pace. So that's what I did. And I'm still doing. But I was like, oh, I didn't do a video for a while because I was jamming out to music. We're good now. And I think I'm like, I don't know, three miles away from Dismal Falls. I might be closer than that. I've been moving. The only slippery, ooh, another little bridge. Look, a blue blaze trail to a parking lot. You know, the only reason I know that is because I blew right by this turnoff before going northbound and ended up in the parking lot. It's dark out. T-Rex and I both did it. 
but I don't think it was blazed like that before. Or I would have, I would have hoped I would have noticed that. The AT goes that way if you're going north. Hmm. It's pretty much like just a walk in the woods today. We're not gonna get really any views. Dismal Falls is cool. I think I'll take us back in there. It's like a .3 or .4 side trail. But it's beautiful back in there, so. Who knows, maybe I'll walk us back in there. Oh, we got that cool suspension bridge too. Right by the road at Trent's Grocery. Other than that, it's gonna look pretty much like this today. Nice peaceful walk in the woods. Top of Dismal Falls, everybody. These rocks are slippery. Pretty sweet. That's beautiful, everybody. Look, check it out. There's people over here on my left. Look, you can see him in the woods. There's a guy right over there too. Boom, you see his legs on the left. He's got a big old nice camera. He's coming down to get some pictures of Dismal Falls, I'm sure. I could go down there too, I guess. I was actually gonna look for, uh, hold on, let me put this. I was actually gonna look for Quicksand's hat too. It'd be funny if I could find Quicksand's hat because, well, there's a log, there was a log over there. Looks like they cut it out of here. And that's where he tried well, he got, a, he got across successfully, but he went for a little swim in the process and lost his hat. So I was going to try to go find his hat downstream a little bit. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if I could find his hat. Mm. Let me go down to the bottom and I'll get a picture of Dismal Falls from the bottom of it. Maybe. Looks like it's gonna be tricky to get over there. I guess I'm not gonna worry about it. I've got pictures of that before. In 18, go check out that video. 2018, my way and I actually, actually camped up here. But I got some really good pictures and video of uh, the other side, like on the bottom side of Dismal Falls. And I think it was more than 0.3 back here. But I don't know for sure. I see, I should have went and explored a little bit for, for Quicksand's hat, but I'm sure it's farther than I think or somebody already got it or something. It would have been nice to like find it and send it back to him. <laughs> Alright guys, figured I'd show you Dismal Falls since I was right in the area. What's happening everybody? So after Dismal Falls we climbed up to like 
the top of this little bump. I'm trying to figure out like what I'm going to do today as far as getting out of the weather tonight and most of the day tomorrow, if not all of the day tomorrow. So I was going to go to Weary Feet Hostel, but it's still like early. So I called Lick Skillet Hostel, which is like another seven, six, seven miles past Weary Feet. And Lick Skillet Hostel is closed the rest of the year because of a family emergency. Uh, so Weary Feet, I called them. They had room. Uh, but it still leaves me like almost an 18 or a 20 mile day for me tomorrow or the next day, whatever day. I guess, I guess I don't have to be anywhere. I don't know why I keep thinking I do. So yeah, Lick Skillet Hostel is a no-go. Weary Feet Hostel has room for me. They asked me if I wanted to stay for dinner. So, I don't know, it's just a little early. So, I gotta make up my mind what I'm doing. Stranger danger. What's happening, everybody? So, as you can tell, I'm not on trail anymore. I'm at the Weary Feet Hostel. Uh, still raining out, and it's supposed to rain even harder tomorrow. So, it's kind of funny. When I was uh, coming down the trail today, a guy named Randy, I've been in contact with him since uh, Lewis Mountain Campground in the Shenneys. Uh, he was actually there too, and he knew I was coming through the area, so the road that takes you to Trent's, he was actually waiting for me there, picked me up, took me into this Amish store, and they had like a, they had like an Amish deli, nah, it was delicious, and Randy bought me lunch there, thank you Randy, I appreciate that more than you know, and then I shopped around and got some Amish made goodies. Uh, for the rest of the day today and tomorrow. So I got snacks, Amish made snacks, which I'm from Amish country, everybody. Like a stone's throw away is as many Amish as you want to see. And uh, their food is always pretty decent. So yeah, I grabbed some snacks and then on the way back to trail, it started raining even harder. And I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> just take me to weary feet. It was literally like right around the corner. So I'm now at weary feet hostel where I will be here at least until noon tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's supposed to rain even harder tomorrow. It's supposed to be a washout. So who knows what I'm gonna do, but I'm at least gonna be here until noon because uh, somebody wants to interview me tomorrow. I'm not gonna quite tell you who it is yet. Maybe I'll tell you at the end of the day recap. Who knows? I'll probably just tell you. Uh, but anyways, that's the dealio, and I'll come back here in just a little bit and do my end of the day recap. I uh, pretty much just woke up from a nap, and the Weary Feet Hostel is cooking dinner, so I signed up for that for sure. And yeah, I'm just chilling here at the hostel, staying dry. Um, but like I said, I'll come back here with the end of the day recap and let you guys know how many miles I did. Who wants to interview me tomorrow and all that stuff so right now it's about 10 to 20 minutes until dinner time so i'm just sitting here catching up on social media and uh yeah it's raining <laughs> and i don't want to melt <laughs> let's say uh i'm too i'm so sweet that i'll melt like sugar baby Nah, not really. But, yeah. So I'm just getting ready to figure out my end of the day recap. And I'll come back here in just a little bit, everybody, and tell you the deal. Alrighty, guys. End of the day recap. Pretty sure it's day 126. Don't quote me on that. The title will tell you. Uh, anyways. We left uh, Sugar Run Gap, which is the road, pretty much Sugar Run Road, where Woods Hole Hostel's at. 625.4. We 
When I was in Virginia, 606, which is parking to the east, Trans Grocery, 610.2, makes it a 15.2 mile day, everybody. And uh, huge shout out to Randy today for picking me up and taking me out to lunch and then bring me back here to the Weary Feed Hostel, which this place is awesome. The dinner here was amazing. Had barbecued chicken, mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, baked beans, baked steak with gravy. <sighs> yeah, Julie here hooks it up for hikers. And she cooks you so much food, it's, it's unreal. So, yeah, tomorrow, everybody, I'm at least going to be sticking around here till noon, unless it's just a torrential downpour, then I'm just going to zero. Uh, but at 10 a.m., uh, Jester, Jester Section Hiking Podcast is coming here to interview me at 10 a.m. So that's always a good thing to do on a rainy zero day. Talk about trail with somebody. Yeah, I'm game. Uh, other than that, today was just a nice peaceful walk in the rain for most of the day. It stopped for like, I don't know, maybe the last hour of the day. It was like I put my umbrella away and then I got down to the road uh, Randy took me into that Amish place to get some food, and then on our way back, it started raining a little harder. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to Weary Feet Hostel. Kind of done with the rain today. And tomorrow is supposed to be a torrential downpour, but you never know. The weatherman don't even know. So we'll play it by ear. I'm at least going to be here till noon. Uh, I'm supposed to be interviewed for that podcast at like 10 a.m., and then I don't see it lasting more than an hour, to be honest, but who knows? could last longer i'll talk about trail for all day if you want to uh yeah and then i'll make a decision whether or not to get back on trail if not i'll be jumping back on monday morning and pushing south again baby so that's what it is pretty sure it's day 126 15.2 and i hope you guys had a great great day i hope you stayed dry and i'll touch back with you guys in the morning baby uh, hopefully, I'm pretty sure she cooks breakfast here too because I see maple syrup over there. So that would be sweet. But for the rest of the night, I'm just going to go edit this video and relax, baby. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning.